Hello Aries, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your Love and Life reading focused on the second half of February from the 16th all the way through the 28th. General as always guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person, so please do take from it what makes sense for you and release the rest. If you are interested in a reading, that info is down below in the description box, as well as a link to all of the decks and creators that you see here today, Aries. So we're going to be starting things off with these two decks for the focus messages. The first one is the Divine Love Affirmations deck by Angelic Revelation 144, and then we'll grab a card from the Whispers of Love deck. All right, guys, so let's begin. Let's take a look and see the direction that this is going to go here for you this time, Aries. And of course, cross watchers are absolutely welcome to this reading. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Aries. So what's your first focus message here? Guided to this one. We have I love you. Okay, and it says, I choose to embrace love and laughter, living life to the fullest with my divine partner. That's such a beautiful card. So let's add to that. That is a really nice message. Let's hope the rest of the reading is just as amazing. All right, so from the Whispers of Love, Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Aries. All right, guided to this one. Turn on your heart light. So this card says, allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. This is so interesting. I forget which sign I read for. If you happen to be a cross watcher, and if you notice that I picked these exact two cards from these two decks, just randomly for the start of that other reading, that's really crazy. <laughs> so basically what this is telling us here is for you to go back to a time, Aries, when you and your person shared a lot of love, when you were happy, when things were good. You know, typically people turn towards readings because things aren't going well. So this is wanting you to really go back and perhaps feeling nostalgic about a time when you loved each other, when the relationship was great and everything seemed to be going along quite fine. But what happened here? That's what we're going to be taking a look at here for the second half of the month. Okay, so we're going to grab some insight from the Untold Truths of the Heart deck by Aqua Moonlight. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Aries. Second half of February for this Love and Life reading. So what do you need to know here? Unconditional. Innocence, support, whole heart unconditional love that you guys have for each other. The next card is vows. Look at these followed by feminine energy. So some of you guys could have been married to your person at one point in time, unconditional love that was exchanged between the two of you. And the feminine energy is right here. The next card after that is loss, grief, sorrow, and pain. So this is an indication here that even though things were going great at one point, committed to each other, you made promises towards one another. This is also a card of fidelity. This loss, this grief, sorrow, and pain from this card might have to do with broken vows, broken commitments in the partnership. So you guys are being directed, or at least maybe your person, whoever did the hurting that contributed to why this relationship fizzled and fell apart or why you guys are at a distance and in separation, that person is being directed to turn on their heart light in that they need to remember a time when things were good between the two of you to hopefully tap into that energy from that time period when everything was great and hopefully be able to realize what it is that they're either walking away from or what it is that they ultimately ruined in the partnership because of something that they did or said. If there were infidelities here, if there was cheating going on, that could have contributed to why things fell apart. 
we do have boundaries. Okay, this card says no, drawing the line. It could be my divine feminine who put up these boundaries when it comes to the masculine because of something that the masculine did to ruin the dynamic of the partnership. And so my feminines, here you are, you're just giving back to yourself. This is a nourish card that says self harmony soul growth that is what you're focusing on to ensure that your life right now is going well you're doing what it is that you need to do to be able to stand on your own two feet and to make life comfortable for yourself we've got avoiding blocking escaping pushing away so if for example you have a masculine wanting to reach out maybe my feminines you've blocked them as far as reaching out on social media, maybe you've blocked them on your phone. You might have moved away, so now they don't know where to find you. Maybe you just needed to get away. Maybe you went on a trip just to get away from it all, you know? And this could also be that you're pushing your person away because of what they've done. But the crazy thing about all that is we've got this card coming up next. So there might even still be a part of you that's hoping and wishing and waiting that somehow this can all still turn around and that you guys can manifest this reunion or coming back together somehow. But that can't happen as long as you've got your boundaries up, my feminines. But at the same time, it makes sense that you do, especially if they've hurt you. So when you're ready to tear down those walls and perhaps start off as simple as having a conversation to see if this is something that can work again, then maybe take your time until you get to that point. You yourself, both of you might have to turn on this heart light to be able to remember when times were good. And if you guys still love each other and if you guys can actually put in the effort to work on that love and the future and where you guys might ultimately land if you give it another try who knows it might still have the opportunity to work out here so let's grab some additional insight aries from my silhouettes deck this is my newest one let's go ahead and grab some cards from here and let's see what else we need to know for the second half of february in love and life angels and spirit guides see that dirty okay somebody got their hands dirty you knew what you were getting into now clean it up that's what it says so we might have a masculine here who got themselves in a situation where their hands got dirty more than likely infidelities something that they knew they shouldn't have done and therefore here we are with this feminine putting up these walls, these boundaries, basically saying it's like, uh-uh, you're not coming back towards me as long as your hands are dirty. And you're going to have to clean up that mess that you started. Wow. We've got untainted. And it's interesting how that's falling right next to vows of commitment, promises, and fidelity. So this card says, our love is pure, simple, and perfect. I'm grateful that we did not allow outside influences or interferences to contaminate our bond. It's interesting how it says contaminated. You are the only one I need in my world, my life, my heart. Perhaps, my feminines, that certainly is your interpretation, or at one point it was, of the relationship that it was perfect that it was pure that it was simple that no one could ever ruin what you guys had but the fact of the matter is it was ruined so it could have been your partner more than likely masculine energy that ruined the partnership because they got their hands dirty and allowed whoever these outside influences and interferences to get in the way of your partnership. That's what's coming through here. What else, please, for Aries? Bitterness. When someone else lives happily ever after with the one you love. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that could have been the case for some of you. Somebody walked out on the relationship because they entered into another partnership with somebody else. So it could be this feminine here. Just watching her masculine. I'm saying her, she, but, it, you know, take it for gender-wise how it makes sense for you. 
watching their person living happily ever after with somebody else. And no wonder you've got your boundaries up if you resonate with the feminine energy. Wow. That's very difficult. We have listen. Talking is not enough if we see right through each other without actually hearing what we're saying. And it's true. You know, you're not going to have a very productive conversation if you guys are just both talking, but no one's listening. We have guidance. Sometimes the path is unclear and sometimes it shines so bright that you can no longer ignore it, intuitively knowing that's the way you're meant to go. And it's falling next to boundaries. So I'm feeling it more so for my divine feminines here that you're meant to travel down a very different path in the meantime where this masculine is not meant to go with you. They're not meant to go with you. They don't deserve to go with you because they got their hands dirty, as it says. They might be investing their time with somebody else at this point. And you're more than likely going through this grieving process as a result of a love that definitely went wrong. But this is an interesting direction that this is taking with this bride card right next to nourish self-harmony and soul growth bride from your smile to your kisses i can't wait to be your missus what i am getting from this and it could or could not apply to you personally for you the listener take it only if it makes sense is that this could have represented a past relationship where there were infidelities and that person moved on to someone else as it says here they're living happily ever after with the one that you love or used to love or you could still have love for that person but that's the reality of what what's presenting itself here and so they might have left you out in the cold and so you had no choice but to take control of your life and to heal from this to have love for yourself first and by following this new path that you're being led towards this is you finding love elsewhere marriage having a family having a beautiful home with this person that you can share with the, a new love perhaps somebody that you end up falling in love with and being a lot happier than you could have ever hoped for and the only way to get there is to walk away and detach yourself from somebody that hurt you in that way so this represents obviously marriage there's someone here that you might be focused on at this point who did make these wishes happen and come true. And the only way you had gotten there is to travel down this road where you had to experience heartbreak first. We do have unconditional love. From the moment my heart knew I loved you, my world stood still. I'm here for you no matter what. No strings attached, just you, me, and my love for you. My love which I offer freely openly and wholeheartedly always and forever isn't that interesting considering we started off with this card from this deck and it does say unconditional and here we are with this card deck and it says unconditional love so that's where you're headed especially my feminines you're headed down this road that will lead you towards unconditional love and the interesting thing is, look at the next card. We've got Apocalypse, which represents a tower moment. You had to experience this in order to get here. So it could have been a blessing in disguise that you experienced a heartbreak with a partner that was just, could have been the wrong partner for you. It could have felt totally right when you guys were together, but it ended up not being the case. You needed to experience this tower moment an upheaval in your life, something chaotic, in order to get you on the right path that will lead you towards someone who can love you unconditionally. That's what I'm getting from that. So let's add to this. 
Aries. And let's see what else is coming through here. But those are some pretty insightful messages right there. All right, so let's add to this with some tarot from my tarot teacher deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Aries for the second half of February for this Love and Life reading, 16th through the 28th. We've got the Three of Cups, celebrations, reunions, happiness, friendships, it does represent a new love for some of you, which I do get that here. Moving away from a challenging relationship and heading more towards calmer energies with a new partner, somebody who can love you unconditionally. This can also represent new beginnings, weddings, and engagements. We do have this vows card right here. So if somebody fell short as far as being able to offer this to you, there's somebody else who's meant to come in to bring this to you. But for some of you, there is a reunion that's reflected here in these cards. Someone who wants to return. And what I get here is that, yes, they might have gone on to being with somebody else. Maybe it wasn't what they were looking for. It could be that whole grass is greener mentality. They were hoping to find something better than what you guys had ended up not being the case and therefore they want this reunion they want you back but by the time they realize that you could have your boundaries up and your answer very well could be no <laughs> you know that does not guarantee that you will accept them back and that's your choice absolutely but it is coming through here so we've got the temperance card picking up off of sagittarius for some of you guys so if your person is Sagittarian, that's reflected here. Cups, water, energy. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is about balance, harmony, moderation, having patience. So if things aren't going the way you'd like right now, Aries, just know that what's meant for you will come to you when the time is right. And... The Temperance card does represent a possible reconciliation here. It's right next to the Three of Cups, representing a potential reunion and a happy, positive outcome between two people. We've got the King of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you, your masculine could be an Earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The King of Pentacles is coming in with very abundant energy. This is someone who's very prosperous. They're a natural leader. They could have their own empire. This is someone who's well-to-do. Could be a very wealthy businessman. They're very mature. They're very grounded. When they have something in mind, they, they go after it. They reach their goals, you know? And if this King of Pentacles wants this feminine... And if you happen to be feminine tuning in, then they're coming in. And if you want them to, then you guys can certainly build a future together. So this could, of course, be someone from your past who wants to return. They might have messed up. Maybe they weren't a king before, but they're coming towards you as this king of pentacles now. But this could also represent new love for some of you guys. But look at this. We do have the eight of cups. This is a card of walking away walking away from the loneliness and just the unhappiness and the difficult moments that you've had with somebody. Leaving that behind and moving forward in your life. Because the right person who's meant to uplift you and be a life partner has to work with you. And that's why we've got this Three of Pentacles here. This is a card of two people who collaborate and work together so that you guys can live life to the fullest. That was the very first message. That is what's presenting itself here. We do have the Four of Cups, okay? So the Four of Cups, it's a message that can be picking up off of the disconnectedness that you feel with a particular person that you might have detached from. 
it's a missed opportunity for them because they just perhaps did not recognize what they had in the partnership with you but you know that's their loss and maybe you took advantage of that time to really think about where it was that you wanted to go at that point not to say it, it was easy for you by any means because the four of cups could also be regret and depression and that things just weren't moving in your life there could be very stagnant energy but this is you here okay soul growth self-harmony this is you working on yourself putting up those walls so that you know this masculine can't get through this person cannot get through they lost access to you, your life, your heart, the moment they hurt you, okay? But look at this. You've got the star followed by the sun, followed by the two of cups. I mean, what a great progression of cards here, Aries. Star card picking up off of Aquarius. There's hope. There is certainly hope here for you as far as a wish that can still come true. If what you're hoping and wishing for is just to be happy in your love life, that can certainly be fulfilled, but it might not ultimately be what the person that you first envisioned that it would be with. There's something, someone perhaps, that's way better suited for you. You either already know that now, or this is where you're headed. You've got the sun right next to it, which is finding the ultimate happiness in your life. A happy marriage, a happy union or reunion, happy times, a celebration, success. It's amazing. And then you've got the Two of Cups right next to it. Compatibility with the right partner, a soulmate bond, a relationship where you guys have this mutual attraction. The love certainly is there. So if all of this drama was from a past love that you had, Hopefully you have moved on from that, you've healed from that, and are now ready to welcome in the right kind of love. If you haven't yet, if you're still healing from what's happened, just know that the progression of these cards, this is where you're headed. And it looks quite promising. Quite, quite promising. All right, guys, so let's move on. Let's go ahead and grab some dialogue messages here. I wanted to start with the Divine Masculine, whoever resonates with that energy. Okay, so we're going to pull some messages from my Thinking Man Oracle Volume 2. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Aries. So what does this Masculine need to say to the Feminine? I love you enough to know you deserve better than me. So this is that person that ended up hurting you, my feminines. And they recognize that they're not good for you. You deserve better. And maybe you needed to realize that for yourself. I miss holding your hand. Okay, so there's somebody that you're in separation from that really misses just being with you, being able to hold your hand as it says. I will never love, desire, cherish, or want another. It's always been you. Okay. And then this card says, I can't do this alone. I need you to help me bring us back together. And, you know, it does take two people to be able to manifest a reunion or a union in a partnership. And based off of the star card, the sun, the two of cups... All of these cards are amazing. And again, as long as you guys work as a team with that Three of Pentacles, this can come back together and be very happy and successful. We were best friends. I love you. I need you. I miss you. Will you let me come back to be your best friend again? Totally your call, my feminines, especially if you still have your wall up. If you've got those boundaries up, do they deserve to be a part of your life again? Is this somebody that hurt you or are you willing to reunite with somebody that you consider to be your best friend the best love that you have ever experienced my feminines so you've got some choices here that you need to make all right so let's go ahead and grab some messages here for the divine feminine i'm going to pull messages from my ex oracle here 
So my feminines, what is it that you would like to say to your masculine? For those especially who would like to reunite with someone that you are in separation from, rather than somebody that you have put up these walls and you don't want anything to have to do with them. But let's see what presents itself here. Maybe we move too fast. Let's take things slow this time. Okay? So you're not wanting to move as fast as how things might have happened before, my feminines. And that's okay. Now, for some of you guys, this might talk about this person who really hurt you. It's not worth it anymore. So you're moving away from that. You're closing the door to that chapter of your life. What else for the feminine? When I'm having a hard day, I read through old texts we've sent each other. It helps get me through, but the nights are so much harder missing you. Maybe they're also having some issues as far as getting a good night's sleep and just being able to rest their mind and focus on whatever needs to be done in order to fix what's broken between the two of you. Sometimes I look at my phone hoping to see a text from you. Okay, so my feminines, this is kind of where you're at. Constantly maybe picking up your phone and just looking to see if your masculine has sent you a message. Okay, let's grab one more card on behalf of the Divine Feminine. Is it really over between us? Please tell me we can try again. So uh, again, this is for those of you who are missing somebody that you do want to reconcile with. Not somebody that you know is not good for you, that hurt you, cheated on you, broke your heart. We're focusing on a good person that you love. You guys just happen to be apart at this time for whatever reason. And you're wondering, my feminines, is it over or can we give this another try? Okay. And for some of you guys, clearly we have a masculine recognizing that you deserve better. Okay. I love you enough to know you deserve better than me. And for my feminines that resonate with that, you need to recognize that within yourself, that you're worthy of the best kind of love out there. And if this person can't offer it to you, you got to look elsewhere. Okay, so that's what's presenting itself here. All right, so let's go ahead and add some additional insight from the Journey of Love deck. Okay. This is the volume one and two version, Journey of Love by Bridget of Divine Essentials. Angels and spirit guides, please. For Aries, for the second half of February. For this love and life reading. We've got humor. Okay, I love how you can always make me laugh. So this person that you are in separation with Aries, maybe you guys just really had a lot of fun together. Lots of laughter. And it's it's interesting that it says that right from the very beginning. I choose to embrace love and laughter. Living life to the fullest with my divine partner. So you guys really enjoy each other's company. What else? expressive i can't hold back anymore so it's just a matter of time really that you will hear from the person that you ultimately are wanting to hear from especially my feminines constantly looking at your phone waiting for a text or phone call we have faded i'm sure this was all meant to be okay and if it if it truly is meant for you guys to come back together it'll happen you know life will find a way to bring you guys back together Let's grab one more message. Let's grab one more here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Marry me, wifey, material fulfillment. So I'm telling you, for some of you guys, there could be a marriage proposal that's coming in for the feminine. Remember, we have the bride card that came through okay from your smile to your kisses i can't wait to be your missus and here we go all right so i do see a potential for marriage for some of you guys there's 
definitely that energy presenting itself in this reading. That's very cool. So let's wrap it up here, guys, with some final messages from your angels, some healing messages for the second half of February. All right, Aries, what else? Angels and spirit guides, please. For Aries, what else do we need to know here, please? Your guardian angels are watching out for you and protecting you, especially when you go through something difficult or challenging, not just in your love life, because this is a love and life reading. All right, so just know that you're protected and blessed. Harmony. Okay, things will be a lot happier, harmonious. Things will fall into place in your life, hopefully the second half of February, or things are getting ready to line up so that it'll take you towards that kind of path where things will start falling into place for you, I feel. You've got miracles that you are also being blessed with at this time. Look at that divine timing. So once again, you got to have patience to see things through. Again, not just in regard to your love life, every aspect of your life. This could have something to do with your career, other relationships with family, with friends, whatever area your health, you know, what, whatever area is of concern to you. It comes down to divine timing. Freedom. So break free from situations that no longer serve a purpose. And lastly, Archangel Michael is here watching out for you and blessing you in addition to your guardian angels. So you're being looked after here, Aries, and protected and blessed. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this one. I do hope whatever part of it made sense for you, that it offered you some guidance that's helpful. And if you're interested in having your own personal reading, that info is down below. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so very much, and I will see you real soon. Take care.